All right, so today we're going deep, really deep. Deep dive. Yeah, deep dive into a photograph. Ooh, intriguing. I bet you've seen it before. It's uh, pretty iconic, you know. Theatrice Bailey, she's kneeling there on the landing at the Lorraine Motel, holding that bloodstained towel. Yeah, I know the one. It's heavy stuff, right? Oh. Forever tied to the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. Right. You probably already know the basics of what happened that day. Yeah, for sure. But we're going beyond that. You know, Perfect. we're going to dig into the story of Theatrice Bailey, this woman caught in the middle of it all. It's a story about resilience facing unimaginable tragedy. The way that image captures both, you know, like right. the sheer horror of it all. Right. But also like this quiet strength. Absolutely. It's April 4th, 1968. Yeah. We're at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis. King's there to support the striking sanitation workers. Yeah. It's a powerful moment, right? This fight for basic dignity, fair wages, it becomes a focal point in the civil rights movement. Absolutely. King steps out onto that balcony. Yeah. And a single gunshot. It just reverberated through the entire nation. I know. The shockwaves. It's chaos. And in those first few moments after, it's Theatrice Bailey, a housekeeper at the motel. Yeah. She rushes to King's side. It's amazing. I mean, some of the sources describe her holding his hand as he passed, oh. offering comfort in his final moments. Can you imagine being in her shoes, witnessing that? Yeah. And then, in the midst of all the grief and chaos, yeah. she has to clean the landing, the place where it happened. That's the moment captured in the photograph. It's like everyday life, right up against this stark violence, can't look away from the bloodstain. But there's Bailey, just mm. her head bowed, mm. this, this incredible strength about her. The weight she must have been carrying mm. in that moment. Unbelievable. Not just, you know, physically cleaning. Right, right. But the emotional burden of it all. When yeah. you look at that photo, what do you see? I see. Echoes of everything King fought against. The violence, the hate. Mm. But then there's Bailey's defiance. She doesn't shy away from the horror. She confronts it head on. And, and that dignity, it breaks your heart. But it's also inspiring. It's her story, you know? Mm. She couldn't turn away. She had a job to do. Mm -hmm. She did it. That act of cleaning, it's restoring order out of chaos. Right. It almost It's almost like a symbol of the whole struggle for justice that King was a part of. Yeah. Like, cleaning that physical evidence yeah. becomes this metaphor for the bigger job of, of cleaning up the systems, you know? Exactly. The injustice that led to his death. It's not just wiping away the blood. Yeah. It's wiping away, like, the stain of inequality. It's powerful, and it reminds us, you know, even when things feel so dark, yeah. we can't just give up, can't be paralyzed by grief. No. We have to keep going. We have to push forward, just like Theatrice Bailey did. Absolutely. It makes you wonder, you know, yeah. how can we how can we all do that? How can we channel that same resilience in our own lives mm -hmm. to fight for a more just world? That's a big question. It is. I think the answer, it might be in the small things. Oh. Not just the grand gestures, the everyday acts of kindness. Speaking up against injustice, yeah. choosing empathy over apathy, being that person who reaches out a hand, mm -hmm. who cleans up the mess, who refuses to look away. Maybe it's remembering, even in the darkest moments, that there's always hope. Yeah. The fight for justice, it doesn't end. Right. And we all have a part to play we do. in carrying that torch forward. Yeah. That's it for today. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.